Hello and welcome. I'm Julian Armour, the director of Music and Beyond. And welcome to our Music and Law series, which is part of our virtual 2020 Music and Beyond Festival. I'm so pleased to be joined by the Right Honorable Beverly McLaughlin, who's gonna tell you some absolutely fascinating stories. And you'll see that 150 years ago wasn't too different than the way businesses and companies behave today. So for this piece, you're gonna be joined by Victor Herbier and Frédéric Lacroix to play a piece by the French composer Jules de Mercement called Fantasy sur un thème original, Fantasy on an original theme. And now it's my great pleasure to welcome the Right Honorable Beverly McLaughlin. As we all know, Adolphe Sax is widely credited with the invention of the saxophone, but it was not an easy ride. In 1844, Sax showed his saxophones at the Paris Industrial Exhibition. Alas, he had to contend with accusations from a German military band leader named Weibrecht that a pair of German inventors had actually been the first builders to devise both the saxophone and Sax's bass clarinet. German musicians backed up the fraud by ordering Sax's instruments from Paris, buffing out the etching of Sax's name in the brass and sending the instruments back to France. Sax defended himself vigorously. The Germans' accusations were dealt with at a momentous showdown in the German city of Koblenz, attended by celebrities such as the composer Franz Liszt. Sax's instruments carried the day, and Sax magnanimously announced that he would wait another year before finalizing his patent application to see if anyone else could produce a genuine saxophone. And then things turned really nasty. Sax's competitors bribed his employees to get the plans for his instruments and then promptly sued him, saying that Sax had stolen their instruments. As a result, Sax was forced to sell the factory for 4,000 francs. In 1845, he bought back his factory. The French government backed him, and prison labor was used to produce his instrument because Sachs could not afford to pay skilled employees. This new success was still very short-lived. In 1848, the French government was in upheaval due to revolution. The ensuing turmoil led to the revocation of Sachs's military contract. His banker went bankrupt as a result of Sax's inability to pay his loan, and he was thrown into debtor's prison. Even with great acclaim and powerful connections in France and abroad during his life, Sax died on February 4, 1894, a penniless man, largely due to his unscrupulous competitors. We will now hear a work by one of the earliest composers for the saxophone, Jules de Mersemann.